What is good, everyone? Eric Oakley and James Proctor. We're here for the Make or Break series. These are going to be the six Make or Break holes, and we're starting at the Beast, the Waco Annual Charity Open presented by Prodigy Discs. So we're here. We have hole four as our starting hole. You start with three holes in the open, and then you come right into the woods. So you've thrown these hyzers through the wind, and now you have to hit a tight technical line. The rough is rough. Yes, don't go in the rough. You know, you got some three holes to warm up, make sure your body's feeling good. Now it's time to hit the gaps. So on this hole, you're looking to play a nice soft hyzer and then work its way around. But we have more holes to talk about later, so we're gonna get into it. Let's do it. Let's shred this hole. I like, I like taking a mid-range or a putter here where I really like to kind of like throw with a fan grip. So I'm spinning it through the gap. So I'm not getting too much action. Um, I have thrown putter in the past, but you're just trying to make this inside gap on a hyzer, but not flare. If it can get a forward skip, it's really good, but it's kind of got to be around the corner before it skips. So see if we can keep it in the fairway and play this hole well. If not, we got to scramble. That might be too high. Oh Ooh, my gosh, I didn't know that was in play. I'm in the fairway, which is good. Birdie's probably out of play, but we can play it smart, take that easy par. I'm going slightly stable putter. It's the new pace from finish line disc. Hopefully minimize the skip, keep it down the middle. Eric's line, just a tad lower or wider. Oh, bless. Oh, that's exactly that's what you really want. Nice. That's exactly what you want right there. Hey. We're Gucci, baby. We'll take it. It's like, how do I throw super hard hyzer that flares and like goes forward and doesn't cut? The Berg. I can't throw, I can't throw a Berg there. <laughs> no? I can throw a Berg to a layup spot. Just give well, it an opportunity to get circle's edge. Yeah, that's a good point. I might go a little faster. Like I might go spice. So it carries a little bit. Yeah, let's try the spice. Spice up your life. I went outside. Oh, bad tree kick. All right. Yeah, I kicked and rolled back left. That's all right though. Like I think I'll be fine. Like that's, I should be able to secure par. Progress. You have to progress on this holes. If you don't, you're dead. It's all right, I'm a forehand guy. You are a forehand guy. Soft, but not bad. Should be a putt. I think it's a putt. You made bigger putts than that. I'm all about the big putts. Just put it anywhere where I can see the basket. It's going in. Love that. Oh, you're telling me there's a gap? Oh, man. All right, so I, I do have to be aware. There is a big slope behind it. I don't know if I can get the pace. Maybe I can. I'm not throwing the pace. It's an alpaca. Hey, hey -o. Ah, man. All right. I'm just... Snap a one. Oh, good layup. Good layup. Thank you, Tree, for helping me not throw my putter in the Brazos. <laughs> Don't you love it when two trees are just like perfectly strategically in your way, but it doesn't even matter? Oh, God. <laughs> Should have warmed up the putt. Should have. <laughs> It goes to show you how, like, what, we're, what you're going to see on most of these holes is that your putt still needs to be good because there's no guarantee of just, like, easily landing inside the circle for your birdie. Like, you're going to be circle's edge and probably still have to scramble for it. So get the putter dialed at Waco for sure. Warm up the putter. Bang. Bang, bang. He's tending to the herd, too. Tending to the herd. Alpacas don't miss. All right, hole nine is a doozy. They are giving us this low ceiling tunnel shot, probably plays like three, 350 to get all the way down there. Mm -hmm. That's where your best drives are gonna land. From there, you got a sidearm or backhand turnover approach, but the teeth really lie on this tee shot. Landing in the landing zone is super tricky. Uh, you got a couple trees in your way, 
you got stuff on the left, stuff on the right, stuff deep. So, you know, pick your straight disc, pick something sidearm, backhand, doesn't really matter. You just don't want any finish. Super straight, hopefully you land in a good spot. And then from there, the second shot is uh, pretty attainable. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, bigger numbers on this hole just because the moment you're off the fairway, getting back to the fairway and to at least a spot where you can start to salvage strokes usually costs you more strokes. So yeah. good decision making is going to be key here. I'm going to try and go this. I like this inside route. Going flippy, for, uh, flippy dynasty here. Oh, I pulled it. Just push. That could be fine. I think I need to trust the hyzer more, but I like it. I ain't mad at it. Ethos Pathfinder is bis. Because that, because that. All right. That could be buckets. I can't be mad about that, that shot. That could be buckets, let's go. This is the part of this hole that really, really starts to show its teeth and what I can do from here. Because I don't think birdie's in play but part of me still wants to be aggressive. So let's try this. I'm gonna take this Kotare, super overstable. I'm gonna force it over, but I'm not gonna try and rip it. See if we can get a nice peel out flex on this forehand. I mean, absolutely blessed. Yeah, let me try one more. So spice. I just gotta trust. I'm like, I'm like oh, it's gonna hurt. It's not gonna hurt. It's soft. That with a Kotari would have been sick. Hey, we're learning. This hole's hard. Our short, we're close, but we're short of the landing zone. So all we can really do from here is pitch up around the corner and maybe have a long look at birdie, but just kind of accept for at this point, not a bad score on this hole. Um, especially getting this far. The next two shots shouldn't be too difficult to execute. But uh, yeah. You said, get, keep, your, keep giving yourself opportunities, right? Yeah. Oh, still fine. This right here, this is dreaming. Simple approach, you can see the basket. Now it's just about go and be good. Like you can really even not throw that great of a shot and still have a putt for birdie on this one. So find this area this is the dream even farther right can even be better but we'll see oh that's not it all uh, right you got through i got through <laughs> dude that's i mean that's what i was saying from back there is like you can even throw it not that great the farther you are up here it's just like it's gonna it's probably gonna work left Got that out, out, Jay. Good enough. Chicken tenders. Yeah, that. You know what I like? Boring, something boring with barbecue sauce. Is that Eric good? Eric, do you want anything from Raising Cane's? I'm good. Eric's good. All right, thank All you. Right. I appreciate you. Got to be good on the green. This whole. Somebody was talking while you were putting. I don't know who that was. I don't know who that was either. Some really tall, goofy guy. Yes, so plenty of spots to be had on this green. But look, we have all of this surrounding area that you can end up with some really scrambly putts. So be ready to play. This one's hole nine, right? Hole nine's hard. We're going to hole 10, my favorite hole. So let's go. All right, we are halfway through our make or break holes. We've chosen hole 10. Personally, it's my favorite. I just absolutely love the visuals of this hole. Having this lush green grass in the middle of the fairway, just this is an aesthetically pleasing hole. I would, rate, I would put this in my Dream 18. It's not, 
because of its difficulty, but it's because of how it looks. And I just get excited to throw this shot. Who doesn't love to rip a fairway driver or a driver and have it go dead straight through the fairway to a nice kind of cool looking green with some slopes to be had? Mm -hmm. Just sweet. Trees are sick. Yeah. It's, go. it's good too because you can watch your dip. Well, if you throw a good shot, you can watch it finish. Yeah. A lot of these other par fours, dog leg left, right, you're throwing it and then you're hoping it's good. Yeah, the disc is gone. Now you get to watch your whole flight. You get to see it land in the middle of the fairway. It's a great hole. I love it. Let's throw it good. Let's go, baby. Halo Dynasty. That's it. Is that good? That's I great. think so. That's, I think that's so. very, very good. That's what we want. Right in the middle. Let's go. I'm gonna try to copy that, but just be one foot further for bragging rights. <laughs> I'm a distance guy though, dude. Ooh. He might have got a couple feet further. Oh right. It's gonna be close. Nice rip, dude. Halo Dynasty, baby. Everybody's throwing Halo Dynasties. I might go, I, I think this could be a zone. But when I step up to this distance, like I, I just want to throw an alpaca. You'll put it inside the circle. Yeah, I'm gonna smooth one out there. The miss right is fine. So that's the part that I need to remember. Yeah, that with a zone is parked though. Dang, you're right. All right, let's try that. That's down the hill. No turn. Let me try a sidearm. That's way I, more I, difficult. I, I mean, zone, just have, but lower. I just have to be better. Simply put, I liked all those shots. I have opportunities still to score, and I think that that's totally fine. I think that's why I like this hole is that the hole is not done. But if you throw an exceptional shot like James, the hole feels almost, it's almost finished. So may any, every little bit of distance you get makes it that much easier. Now that we've progressed way up the fairway from Eric's drive, <laughs> we're left with some difficulty, but we're inside 200, so, you know, no excuses, got to get it done. At least get it inside the circle and then knock your putt down. Easy, easy four. Keep ending up with these Eric sidearms, though. It's a little displeasing. A little slide? All day. That's in the circle. That's good enough. Yeah. That's opportunity, baby. Keep it on the table. Stay up. Good line. Gave it a chance. Four's okay. Good bird. Good bird. Side birdie hole 10. See, this is this is where it gets tough. This is like an inside the circle putt, but I have to like deep straddle and miss some branches. Doesn't matter. Too Jam. easy. Jam. Too easy. Jam. We're on hole 12. It's our last hole in the woods. This is, uh, used to be a par five and now is a par four. So it is very tough. Where four feels like a really good score. Two excellent shots result in that birdie. So you're really trying to penetrate around this corner, land yourself in the middle, and then make a decision on how you're going to attack. Backhand turnover that flexes out at the end is really good. Pushing sidearm hyzer, also super good, but this is another hole. We're in the woods, there's teeth to be had. So if you're off, it's, it's really, really difficult. So you gotta throw multiple good shots. How are you attacking it? Yeah, you know, I haven't decided yet if I'm going forehand or backhand mid-range off the tee. Um, whatever is gonna consistently land me in the fairway. It's not a super difficult shot to execute, kind of depending on the ground play at the end, but that second shot is a very high level shot. You have to be aggressive to get to the basket. Yeah. So, you know, if you're not in the fairway after the first, then you're, you know, you're scrambling to save par. If you are, then you gotta clutch up and hit that second shot to get a look at birdie. Let's go. I'm gonna slam on this spice. These are good. These are dropping here soon. Uh, check them out. Infinite Discs and all the local retailers should have them. Is that good? So I'm really gonna try and push this hard hyzer and see if I can get some ground play. I, can, I don't mind throwing it high either, but it's just all about the hyzer release. That's gonna be really good. 
really, really good. Spice up your life. Every boy, every girl, people of the world. If you don't hit that bush, I think you're money. It's pushing the back edge, we'll see. I don't know. I liked it. Yeah, I mean, this is a hole you can play pretty comfortably for par. Like you don't have to get too far I just far need to get here. to like that big tree, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's a pretty easy up and down. Yeah, just nice putter up over the hill. Should be able to maybe even see the band of the flag. That's perfect. Now chill. Perfect. All right. Nice shot, bro. Thanks, bro. Kind of a sidearm guy. Not really, though. I just don't know what I would throw for it. It'd probably be a Pathfinder, but I don't know. It would, could stay, stay too straight. I mean, oh, that's such a terrible thing to have happen. Oh, my disc went so straight. <laughs> it's a tricky, it's in a high level second shot. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go Dynasty. And like if I were to go Spice, I'd have to throw it flat, but if I push it, I could find those trees. But if I go Dynasty and I can get like that forward pushing hyzer. Oh, if it's higher, it's so good. Blessed. blessed. Hey, so that's what you gotta do on this course as well. Be blessed. So. Not enough. Ouch. Ah! That's dead. James, rest in peace. <laughs> Glad I'm getting them all out of the way now. Keep giving myself opportunities to score. If I land there all three rounds, and this is the this is the closest I get, I can't complain. As long as we're getting our pars. Oh, here's a bar we'll be to be throw in if I've ever seen one. Let's get it to the finish line with good pace. <laughs> Read the instructions. Did you do it? Drop. Oh, it was too oh, high. Oh, that wind lift. I love the idea though, dude. I that would have been hate sick. It. But I mean, shows how simple it is if you just keep it in the fairway twice. Yeah, that's really easy from there. Oh. Why not? That shows that there are right and wrong places to be on this hole. Wrong. I mean, even here, still have a putt to make. Being aggressive. Okay, it's not impossible. I believe in you. Just improbable. Buckets. Yeah. Let's go, dude. There it is. Great putt. Yeah. Not focused, it's all good. That's why it's practice. That's why we're out here doing it. But shows you, you gotta finish the holes. We're gonna go on to the last two holes of this make or break and they're doozies. Probably can guess which ones. We'll see you out there. All right, so we've made it to hole 17. This is a monster of a hole. So I think the best play is a left to right moving shot that gets you out into the flat at the top of the hill so you can aim and attack down the basket. If you're pinched tight, it gets really, really difficult. So some branches to contend with. I know James likes to go for this nice, easy backhand turnover. It allows him to push it a little bit farther. Yeah. So, um, but then we'll talk about the approach once we get there. So let's throw some good shots. Let's do it. Let's go. Help me wind. Big skip. Oh, look at that. Woo! Made a move. I got a thumbs up. I don't think our scale person is paying attention. Yeah, did you see his shot? 10. All day. Oh, you're so dumb. Ooh, stay up. 9-6. Not bad, not bad. 9-6. <laughs> little I'll higher, I think that's money. Yeah, a little low. <laughs> You want a perfect tee shot just to make that second shot easier. Sick. Oh, Is that a base quake? Chandler, Chandler, That's sick. I know. Come on, quake life. <laughs> Woo! Huh. 10 2. <laughs> Gone. What? 
Hey, Eric, do you want to throw from each other's drives? No, you, you this, got it. You want this forehand? Oh, dude, I'm in a primo spot. Why do I don't want to throw from yours? Dude, you're... No! Oh! Get wrecked! <laughs> Get wrecked! Dude, that's why this hole is hard. <laughs> it's a separator. Dude, that wasn't a bad shot. You just got housed. <sighs> Found myself in a really good spot. Open air. Let's just put it close. Chill, baby. Circle's edge putt. Now, how good we are, are we on the green? That's the question. Gotta be better. So much of this course is you gotta be good on the green. And this is the strokes that uh, will cost you. So let's put it in the heart next time and move on with the birdie. Par's good though. So as you saw, hole 17, lots can happen. If you're too pinched like James was, that second shot is so difficult. Uh, I thought he threw a great line. He got a bad reaction and he's looking probably bogey at best. You know, and myself, I had my opportunity for birdie. Could have been a two-stroke swing, but it's just one. But that's something you can see. My putt could have skipped and rolled. There's so much that can happen on the screen. So you have to be good start to finish on hole 17. 18 is our last one. Let's go. We have finally made it to the finishing hole, hole 18. As you can see, we got a lake to throw over. You got a layup zone on the left, layup zone on the right as well. Um, this hole can get pretty tricky with the headwind, so that'll bring those layup plays more into play. Right now, right now we got a tailwind, so we're looking at our chops. We're looking to go probably high hyzers out to the right, swing them back left, hopefully land somewhere near the basket. But it's one of those holes, just like 17. If you're if you got a one stroke lead coming into this hole, you can't really play it safe. You gotta be aggressive because people will get the two. So, you know, it should create a lot of exciting uh, shots down the finish and we'll see what it looks like. Show us how it's done. Oh, good. <laughs> She's gonna be there all day. Oh, that's, that's a putt. That's guaranteed. That's, that's a putt, baby. That's a pick up birdie right there. No, I Play. love it though, but look, you're putting. Yeah. I'd rather be putting than, <laughs> than swimming. <laughs> All right, Calvin, show me how it's done. That's great. Oh, power guy. That's great. Thanks, Vinny. Power Jump. guy. Keep going. All right, circle two. I, I'm in. I love We're it. We're doing it. Nice shot, buddy. Yeah, dude. Give me some. I like that tailwind. <laughs> I can live with it. I if you have to win it, you run it, but. I mean, I'm out here to win, so let's go. Dang, I'm out here to lay up, man. <laughs> I guess I'm out here to lay up. What's up? Hey, that's a, hey, that could win. James could put it in the water here. Yeah. He ain't. Alpacas don't miss. Good thing I got backups in the van. They're my backups. If I make this, they're mine. Oh, no! <laughs> Shoot! Do you see it? My arms oh, are that big. Picking up at least at least a stroke coming into the last one with a soft conservative bid. I don't even call it a bid. It was a layup. But that's what happens. Again, that's why 17 and 18 are just such great finishing holes. Is it can happen on the putt, it can happen on the drive, it can happen on an approach. You never know when it's gonna bite, but if you play it right. You're getting strokes and that's good. Big thanks to everybody for tuning in. This is the six make or break holes out here. 
at the Beast, the Waco Annual Charity Open, I think presented by Prodigy Discs, which is cool. Um, big thanks to them, big thanks to Ace Run Pro for being out here, but you're gonna see a lot more of this content. We're gonna be doing this at every single event. We're gonna highlight these holes and then you're gonna be able to watch them on Ace Run Pro and all the other media companies to see just how they break down and who gets out and shreds them. Big thanks to James for tuning in and throwing some dope shots. Yeah. <laughs> and also, also Lake in a couple. <laughs> Hey, you know, if, if you dial in these six and you score well on these six, you're looking to shoot a great round. Absolutely. Absolutely. So tune in next time. We'll be down in Austin uh, for the next video. It's going to be super fun. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do all the things. Check me out. The Eric Oakley. James. James underscore Proctor. Dude, I'm being such... I got a, I got a phone call, actually. It's not Tina. Okay, cool. <laughs> Spam. Sorry. If it was Tina, I was going to answer it live on the camera. But uh, yes, tune in. Check us out on social media. Make sure you guys just do all the stuff. Support Ace Run Pro. Support everybody who's supporting disc golf. Let's go. See Make you a break. on the next one. Cheers. All right, everyone. We are going to be giving away a Halo Dynasty. Might not look just like this one. I'm going to go dig through our stash and find a dreamy one for all of you to maybe win. Comment below what hole do you think is going to be the decider here, both MPO and FPO. What is going to basically kind of choose who wins this tournament? So let us know if we got it right with the holes we chose and good luck. Thanks everybody for watching. Let's go.